Hey everybody, Rick Rilo 506 here with a LEGO Star Wars 2015 Summer Set Review. This time we have set 75094, the Imperial Chill Tidarium. Comes with 5 minifigs, 700 and... no, 937 pieces. And retails for £79.99, $99.99 and €99.99. This set is the best set for the Summer Wave. If you're getting any set, this is the one to get onto the minifigures anyway and we start off with one of the rebel troopers the rebel endor troopers or the endor rebel troopers even and nice figure that khaki kind of green like the, the the military green that you would see on the Kashyyyk troopers as well from 2014 from the battle pack um, but I'll just get it from this side because I'm getting most light in through there. But yeah, that is just an amazing figure. <clears throat> but yeah, and you can see there's a hood there as well. And the helmet's nice too. There's no double sided face, um, but he does come with a plain blaster. So that is that figure. Next we go to the other indoor trooper he's also kind of cool um, I'm liking the other one though but um, um, these don't have any particular names so if you want to join them up it's a lot it makes more sense too than mixing up like the likes of Han Solo and some other guy like Luke Skywalker from Star Wars as you can see, no double sided face on him either. And yeah, that is the back printing. So that is another very cool figure. Next, we come to Chewbacca. We've seen him in the droid gunship of last year, so I have him. But he's still cool. I still like it. And um, no torso printing, no back torso printing, because that's all going to be covered up anyway. And then we have some leg printing that's also kind of nice um, he also comes with a dark grey crossbow kind of like a dark silverish crossbow even but um, yeah then we get Princess Leia and I think this is going to be the um, one of the most wanted figures of this set if not the most wanted figure uh, it's a fight between Han Solo and her anyway but um she comes with a cookie. Yep, a cookie. Um, I think it's the one that she feeds Wicked the Ewok with. And then a blaster pistol to like scout the place and stuff. She has two faces. Um, one is kind of an annoyed, angry face, and one is just a here, Wicked, take my cookie face. But um, the torso printing. This is not how the cape is worn. The cape is actually worn like this. It's kind of like a poncho. Um, except without a hood. But that's the torso printing anyway. And the back printing is also nice as well. No leg printing unfortunately. And that's why I think Han Solo is going to be wanted. But this fabric cloth kind of evens them out. So that is that for Princess Leia or... Endor, no, Princess Leia is what it's called. But, um, makes sense. But Han Solo, anyway, and he looks very nice, very nicely detailed. And I think, again, this is going to be the most wanted figure, if not Princess Leia. But just because of that leg printing. Um, the last time we got Han Solo in a set was actually the UCS Slave 1, which was winter released, I think. So, and in a regular set, I don't know. <laughs> Moss Isley Cantina, I think it was. But, um, yeah, he has two faces. Uh, one's kind of a happy face, one's just kind of a straight face, just straight out there with. Like, he's just serious. Let's see if I can turn this now. That's, that's quite a stiff head. Um, 
Now, I'm, I'm not going to be able to turn that. Sorry, guys. Uh, what is wrong with this? No, I'm not going to be able to turn it. But you can picture that on the front. There's just something wrong with this. It's just way too stiff. No, not going to be able to move that. But um, you know what? I will. Okay. Finally got it. And I did something I never wanted to do. And I got it with my teeth. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no Lego fan likes biting things with their teeth. But anyway, that is Han Solo. And onto the box, actually, we'll go to. Should have done this first, but anyway, we have a very big box art, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get it, the whole thing in, unless I take the Starfighter out of the way, so why not? Or the Tidarium. So, you can see the box art. Nice, there's some explosions. Explosions! I love explosions. But, um,. We also have our Death Star and then one of those big satellites that are on indoor and then again loads of trees exploding. Oh my gosh, explosions. So <coughs> this being the Starfighter or the Tidarium that they steal um from episode six. But yeah, just some more features on the back as well. So now onto the set. And first things first, the cockpit opens. There's a bit of a problem with the cockpit though, and it's that when you have it up like this, no, well, it's actually staying this time, but if you lean it the slightest bit forward, it will actually close up on you. Um, I'll try and get my camera to go in there. Come on, come on camera, go in. Oh yes, nice. One of the pieces here, and another piece here. Make up the um, the cockpit kind of consoles, yeah, consoles, and then the seats as well for the likes of Han Solo, and Han Solo can fit in with his weapon. You could put Chewbacca, but that's going to take away his weapon. Um, so I'm going to stick in a Rebel Endor Trooper even. No, I'm, I'm not even. I'm just going to stick Han Solo in there. He's going to fly the thing. Chewbacca can go on the ground if he wants to. But yeah, you can easily fit two characters in there. Um, two guys. And actually Han Solo needs to lift his hand up a bit more get in as well and that's actually a broken piece and I don't know where that bit's gone either so actually that's supposed to go a bit further back and I apologize for this but um yeah Han Solo can go in there anyway and you can get a decent amount of space out of it as well and um, the wings ban I like the wings ban um, this is great. You're not going to be able to see the yeah, the full picture, but you know the the wing goes up pretty high to here. But um, yeah, this is very cool. You'll see it though if I do this and now picture it with the wings down further. But yeah. We can have these guns coming up and now you can just see that is just amazing. It doesn't look like that's going to be stopped and then you see like something like a Star Destroyer or something come up against it. But anyway, um, these have um, spring loaded launchers just here and when you press this down here, they fire off and that went really high up. I'll do the same with this one as well. I just fired up into the air. So yeah, that was pretty cool. On the inside we have some seats, but first we have this. And in here is some grenades, I think. So 
some grenades. And they're actually on an orange stud as well, so. Those are what the grenades look like, the top, the top one. Thermal detonators is what they actually are, I think. But yeah, you can you can put them in here. Also, there's another little door in here. I'm just going to do use this to get some extra light in. But yeah, I might actually use it to get a different angle at it as well. You can see a screen now just in here. Just in through the top. You can see that is one of the planets. Don't know which one it is. It might actually just be Endor. And yeah, you can see a Rebel logo, Rebel insignia, and yeah, so that's also pretty cool. But that door can't go up by itself, it can't stay up by itself. You have to use this yellow thing, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know. There's a landing pad as well, um, landing gear even. This is actually the landing gear here, so you would have these up. I don't know why I didn't have it like this before, but that is the landing gear there. And that will fall back a bit though. So any weight on that will make it fall back. So actually when you have it like this, it, it still is shaky, but... It, it won't actually fall back when you push it. It will, it will fall forward a bit though. So that's that's a bit annoying. But anyway, on the other side, I will zoom in here now, and you can see when I open this that there is some more seats. There's one here, and there's actually a gun rack here, and there's another seat here, and over there there is the other seat and the little space for the actual crate to go in so you stick your little crate in here you would obviously stick it in the other side I don't know why I even tried to do that I will put it in the other side though and if anything gets stuck that's another reason why you use this is so that you can push your stuff out and here it is so, it's kind of like an emergency hatch, in in a way, an emergency hatch, but yeah, I like that, um, you put that in, of course, the other way, and then, yeah, there's just some more seats for your figures, so that's also pretty nice, and we'll just zoom into here now, I'll just, I'll try and get this bit off, actually. You can see there's another sticker here though anyway, so yeah that is pretty much it guys. Um if I've missed anything let me know because that would help. If I've missed anything, let me know and I'll probably redo the review. But otherwise this one's okay for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you well I hope I said everything you wanted to hear. Um this is a very good set, if not the best set for this wave. And it's actually a bit bigger than the biggest set. There's just a lot more pieces cramped into that set. But um, yeah, I like this and I think you should get it. But um, yeah, um, stay tuned for more videos and I'll be talking to you in the next one. Bye bye guys.